Hi everyone, welcome to ET Warden. I hope you enjoyed this vibe, it's a good music. So today I'm going to talk about flowcharts. Oh no God! No God, please no, no! The reason why I'm doing this video is because many people don't know how to create proper flowcharts or even don't know how to express themselves properly. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos that you like. As you can see, this is a funny flowchart. It's about should I do laundry or not. And this is just to give you an idea what a flowchart is about. So first things first, definition, right? Flowchart is a type of diagram to represent a workflow, process, or an idea. What? As I said, many people can't express themselves or they can't put their idea on a paper. Now, let's talk about tools. There are loads, hundreds of tools out there to create flowcharts and diagrams. You can use anything you want to draw the flowcharts, even pen and paper, right? I'm going to use diagrams.net. So here I'm going to click on the site later. I don't want to save this flowchart. And next step is talking about the symbols or the shapes. Okay, I'm going to click on flowchart option here and show you the basics, right? So here I have the start, phase one is for process, phase other one. This other one is for decision and final one to terminate. Yeah, so these are the basics to start, flowchart, process, decision and terminator to finish your flowchart. Hasta la vista, baby. So what we're going to do is a very basic flowchart. We're going to make a flowchart to decide if we're going to work or not. So let's start with the start symbol, which is this one. And the next one is going to be a decision. So we're going to check if we are sick or not. So are you sick? And then if you are sick, you are going to call in sick and type yes, I am sick. If you're not sick, you're going to check if the shower is okay. Shower, okay. We have also to link the shapes or the symbols, right? Is the shower okay? No, it's not, so you should call in sick. Of course, this is just a joke, right? So I'm not saying that you should do this, <laughs> but this is just to show how it works. If the shower is okay, you can have your breakfast. This is a process, right? So remember, this shape or this symbol here is for a decision. And the square or rectangles, they are for processes. So you can have your breakfast, and finally, you can check if the car is okay. Is the car okay? You see, these are all questions, right? So every time you have a decision, you have to put a question here. So is the car okay? No, the car is not okay. Call and seek. Yeah, the car is okay. And that's it, you have your end. And here, the first one is the start. So there you go, now we have our flow chart. Thank you! And now I'm going to show some common mistakes and how to avoid them. So here is another flow chart. There are some mistakes here. First mistake is that we are starting from the bottom 
to the top and the best practice is always coming from the top to the right that's the first mistake we're starting from bottom going up going right going back down left and you know just a mess that's mistake number one you should avoid Mistake number two, you see process six is over process two. The arrow. So you should avoid this kind of stuff, right? So you click the face and then you don't have to have an arrow over another process. This is just for a better understanding of your flow chart. That's mistake number two. The number three is, you see number seven, process number seven, there is no terminate. So you must have a terminate for all your process. So process seven, so process seven is going nowhere. So you need a terminator here. You need a terminator here. You can't have a process without a terminator, right? Mistake number four. You have process six with a terminator and going to process seven. You can't have this either. Or you need a decision here, or, or you put a decision instead of a process, or you remove one of these two, okay? You can't have process going to an end or to another process. Otherwise, the person who is looking at this flowchart won't understand what's going on here. So there we go, we have covered the basics, the shapes, common mistakes to avoid and I hope from now on you're going to create awesome flowcharts. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, cheers, bye!